All right. Hey, my name is Kyle Giersdorf, or also known as Booga for Team Sentinels. What makes a champion? A champion is a person who has overcome all odds. A champion rises up and defeats every obstacle, every opponent, every challenge, and every difficult moment that stood in their way. Not many could have predicted the outcome of the largest video game tournament in history that took place on a sweltering weekend across New York City in July of 2019. But if you ask the champion Kyle Bugga Giersdorf himself, he'd say his win was about staying on a grind that continues to this day. In the kingdom of Fortnite Battle Royale, Bugga is a champion. He is the outcome of hard work, relentless dedication, and the will to achieve excellence. This is his story one year later. Before becoming a Fortnite world champion, Bugga was your typical suburban teenager. He enjoyed playing basketball, hanging out with his friends from school at the local mall, and playing video games in his free time. A lot of video games. I was introduced to gaming pretty much by my dad. He's been a gamer all his life, so he pretty much got me into everything. He got my first console for me, and but uh, I think the first game I played was either Little Big Planet or it was COD, it was, it was one of the two. Beginning to play on the PS4, Bugga first began playing Fortnite with his friends from school as a way to just simply have fun. Uh, I just kept playing just for the enjoyment and getting better. But then eventually I realized I was getting like a little bit too good for my friend group that I was playing with. So uh, I actually switched over to PC and just like, I pretty much got introduced to a group of people and they were like, hey, you wanna go scrim, which is known as heart and aspect. He's a really old friend of mine. We just really liked his play style, even though his aim was a little shaky. He was really good building mechanically. He was really good with the snipers. And back then, and there's like no money stuff announced. Like we just wanted to have fun and he was fun. Nobody could have imagined what was going to transpire. Even Bugga himself had no idea that he would ever become a professional Fortnite player, let alone an overnight superstar. Countless hours were put in perfecting a craft that was far from the world championship caliber gameplay that he displays today. His first big breakthrough was in a squads event in 2018, earning a share of $5,000 by finishing second in a tournament sponsored by Microsoft at their retail store locations. With the support of his parents who saw the importance of the budding star's gaming passion, Bugga kept going. At first, his parents had a slight worry that he may be spending too much time in a virtual world and not enough time out of it. But by balancing his time in the game with good grades in school and hanging out with friends outside of the game, a compromise was struck. As he continued to play, his performances and placements rose, beginning with a top 50 in the Fortnite Winter Royale in late 2018, top 10 in Share the Love series in early 2019, and second in the World Cup warm-up duo with fellow Sentinel, Kuros. And I was like, dude, this is like exactly someone I need. I just need someone who's going to be really fast, going to listen to me, and going to be mechanically insane. Like, when I first played with him, like the first few days of scrims, he clutched out like so many games, like his mechanics honestly were so insane back then, way ahead of everyone, maybe other than clicks, but like he was probably one of the best, fastest players I've seen. Playing with other friends he met online, Bugga would go to play with Aspect, another Sentinel who introduced him to the organization that he calls home today. I think once we really started dominating, I realized that we had potential and that I actually do enjoy this and I want to go pro and make it to the top so that we can just compete and just always do well and it'll be really fun. I think before World Cup, we, me and Animal knew he was going to be super good and we like got him on Sentinels and made sure that they had missed the opportunity to sign him, which obviously worked out very well. When Epic Games announced their plans for a world championship, including a $30 million prize pool with $3 million going to first place, 40 million aspiring players attempted to qualify for a chance at glory. And on April 14th, 2019, Bugga showed up huge. Here are your qualifying players. Bugga at the number one spot. Big events and Bala, you know these players very well. I kind of want to get your reactions on this. From players like Bugga, who honestly for me came 
out of nowhere. The, the lead up to World Cup, when watching him and watching his growth, um, I just saw that he was working really hard, but at the same time, like I said, he had a really positive attitude. I saw that he was definitely somebody to, to be, uh, you know, to be reckoned with going into the World Cup qualifiers. But then week one happened and I realized that he had um, not only like a switch based on the momentum, like if he did well, he was going to continue to do well, but also um, he, he, he figured out a formula that not anybody else was really completely utilizing, but Booga was completely like using it from its fullest to start to finish. In just the first week of the World Championship qualifiers, Booga finished in first place for solos, becoming one of the first to secure a spot at the World Cup. Right after I qualified and I officially knew I qualified, I was in a Discord, I think, with like Aspect and like a bunch of other guys and they were all hyped for me and I was hyped too, but uh, I deafened and like my parents came in, they're like, oh, congrats, all this. And I was kind of just sitting there like, yeah, I mean, this is really cool. But like, in a way I felt like I deserved it. So I wasn't like insanely hyper, but like, I was excited, you know, like, it was a culmination of countless hours spent playing in practices, reviewing old games to recount mistakes, and improving on mechanics to the point where he was so confident. Securing a spot at World Cup was just the beginning. He had trained and grinded for this moment with so much time invested, it was rewarding to see it pay off. But business was not finished. Still, merely a year after picking up Fortnite on the PC and continuing to play the game he now loves, Bugga has punched a ticket to the Big Apple. Arriving in New York City for the first time in his life, Bugga got to meet the same people that he dropped into games with on a daily basis online. The venue for the championship? Arthur Ashe Stadium, the same place that built tennis legends such as Serena Williams, Roger Federer, and Rafael Nadal. I remember walking in with everyone, like we were all lined up, all that. We walked in, they were just walking us around, showing us the stage. It was like this huge event and like, you're just sitting in the middle of this entire place and wherever you look, you just see seats. And on the world stage, with millions watching at home and over 20,000 fans in attendance, Bugga shined. The battle bus is loaded. Six, five, four, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What a shot. A player like this is going to make plays, sitting the edge of the storm. The box is going for edit shots. Big hit. My gosh. The outside. Booga picking up his sixth elimination. Two, 1v1 one on the bottom. Step on the box. Big hits. Back to back shots. Booga picking up another elimination. Booga is insane now. Almost going to be his game to win. We'll see another one. Can he find the ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos? I think one of the major things that helped me while I was playing was like when you get a kill late game and you hear the entire crowd erupt and everyone's going crazy, like that gives you like adrenaline and you're just, you're ready to keep going. And that's pretty much what I did. Booga can soar up into the sky. Go for it, here it is. Shot way behind. Shots coming in. The first game of the World Championship, Bugga immediately jumped to the top of the leaderboards with a nine elimination victory royale. Right before I even shot the gun, like, I was like, wow, I'm about to win this. Like, I just knew. And then I pretty much won. I jumped up out of my seat, threw my arms up. I was so hyped. Like, you take your headset off, you hear the entire crowd just roaring. Like, it's the best feeling ever, honestly. Like, nothing else I could describe makes you, like, feel that way, honestly. That's the best. As the games went on, he continued to find himself at the top of the leaderboard and running away from the competition. From Bugga's perspective, the pop-off win in game one was what he needed to have a chance at taking home that trophy. From there on out, it was all about consistency. Got placement points. Another oh elimination. How about oh a second? Bugga, what are you doing? Two elimins that we missed when Song got taken out. And <laughs> are you kidding? Look at him. Look at him laugh. He takes out. There it is. A big shot. Another elimination. And he's got, he's got near max material. It's a sign of respect. We've got to watch this man continue to dominate. I've never seen anybody play in a competitive Fortnite match with a smile on his face like this kid right now, but he is absolutely dominating. He's smiling. He knows it. He knows it.
is ridiculous. In the final game, the entire arena and everybody at home knew that Bugga had pretty much secured the win already. The final one was a Fortnite World oh Cup. Oh gosh. Bow down. Surprise. Bow finishing with five eliminations in a fifth place result. With 59 points, Bugga won in an absolute landslide victory. Welcome to the winner's circle, your Fortnite World Champion, Bugga! In that moment, as I saw that young man walk on that stage, um, and I saw his parents over on the side, and I could tell that it wasn't about the money, but it was about seeing their son achieve greatness. Literally reach the top of the mountain of esports. I, I was proud of him at that moment. If you thought winning the World Cup was the end, think again. In fact, it was really just the beginning of a weeks-long media frenzy surrounding the 16-year-old gamer that suddenly became a millionaire overnight. Media requests poured in from all over the world as the winner of one of the biggest individual tournaments had now been crowned. Bugga was invited to some of the most iconic television shows in the US, such as The Today Show and The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, where he showed that he really was your typical American teenager who just happened to have an incredible like gift. That? Where's your wait? Walk me through your day. So what time do you okay. wake up? Are we talking school day or weekend? <laughs> let's 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 talk weekend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe like twelve, one. <laughs> <around now. laughs> oh man, I want I want to be you so bad, dude. I'm really I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Of His you. popularity continued to soar. In November of last year, Bugga was crowned the PC Player of the Year and the PC Rookie of the Year by the Esports Awards. With his fame came exclusive invitations to places like Miami, Florida to play Fortnite alongside NFL player Juju Smith-Schuster, or even featuring in a Super Bowl commercial for Hummus. Life as Bugga knew it had become pretty bananas. But the win came with headaches along the way. Right after hoisting the trophy, his social media platforms were hacked. Hackers began streaming from his Twitch account, gifting subscriptions to his account that were tied to personal banking information. It was almost instantaneously, actually, because, well, first of all, we wanted to make sure that we acknowledged that he was being hacked and all the things that were happening on his social media accounts were not his own actions. So we were able to get back into his Twitter account because I had spoken with uh, a contact from Twitter. Of course, Fortnite being like such a big event and everyone looking at this, uh, even Twitter was aware of this happening and active and being like, oh yeah, like, this is not right, like, let us help you get this back right away. And that's kind of how you know he kind of reached celebrity status at that point. Um. While winning the World Cup was an amazing achievement, trolls didn't see it that way. From hundreds of viewers to tens of thousands of viewers overnight after winning the major championship, Bugga had to deal with comments on his stream that were meant to break him down. Obviously, after I won, like, you're going to have those people that just out of nowhere will appear and they're just gonna start hating like oh he didn't deserve it like this was he just got lucky stuff like that and like you got to realize like those people don't understand what you did and like you just have to be happy in yourself you know is he the best fortnite player ever i mean people can make uh, arguments and debate it but for that year of 2019 he was the best he is the king and he deserves to be nominated right alongside players like Simple or someone like Sinatra. Like, he deserved that. That game takes skill. I do not care what anyone says outside of it. He was, he was the most winningest player financially that whole year. He was consistent. He played great. He deserved it. And, and he earned his spot. When the dust settled and he went back home, he went back to the same routine that led him to making history playing Fortnite, streaming, and enjoying the game he loved most with his friends. Except this time, it was to a much larger audience. Yo, Zoom. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Later. Yo. <laughs> Later. Before the World Cup in 2019, Bugga has about 75,000 followers on Twitch. Today, he stands at almost 3 million. With seven-figure follower counts on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and even TikTok. You get back home, you see all the numbers, everything grew, and like 
you start your first stream, you see all those viewers. I'm just sitting there like, wow, like what is happening? Like I'm reading my chat, you see subs flying through, you see follows everywhere. And you're just looking at the numbers go up and it's just like, how can you not be happy? Even when stuff's happening in game, like you're getting stream sniped, you're just maybe not even focusing on it. Like, how can you not be happy, honestly? It's a far cry from the beginnings of his stream that grew from a few viewers at a time to hundreds before the glory of the World Cup skyrocketed his stream into the thousands. You, you, you've come so far and you still have a long journey ahead of you, bro, just because uh, you, you won World Cup. And obviously, you, you know this, your stream has grown to levels that I didn't even imagine would come out of the World Cup, uh, but you stay booga and that's important. So what's next? This isn't the end of the story for the now 17 year old world champion. In fact, far from it. Every day, Bugga continues to play the game he loves as it continues to change and evolve. Each season of Fortnite that is developed constantly changes how the game has to be played in order to succeed at the competitive level. The old saying, practice makes perfect, is especially true in Fortnite. I don't know, streaming's just really enjoyable when you're playing at your best and you just have people watching you and like, oh, that was sick, like, that's so cool. Like, you have people to talk to 24 seven, you're just chatting, like, I don't know, this is just what I do and it's really fun to me and I'm just glad I'm able to do it. The grind is all in preparation for upcoming tournaments that are set to take place online due to the coronavirus pandemic. If there was another World Cup, I mean, I'm obviously there, I'm grinding, like, I wanna be there, I wanna go back to back, like, Imagine that happen, that would be so crazy. Since there won't be a World Cup championship in 2020, Bugga, in an unforeseen circumstance, remains the only player that can claim they are in fact a Fortnite solo world champion. And yet, the world championship isn't really what defines his story. It may be what makes Bugga the professional Fortnite star, but it isn't what makes Kyle, the individual, so special. Like, he just loves Fortnite. I don't know if, like, I, I think that gets lost a lot with people. Like, they just think he's streaming and stuff or the money and playing for the money. Booga was the best advocate to have out there representing competitive Fortnite. Uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm very, very proud of how he, he handled everything. Seeing people grind that hard and do it week after week and improve week after week, to me, that's not just a sign of uh, you know, that they're good at a video game. To me, that's a sign that they have the skills and they've learned things that will propel them in life no matter where they go. I'm hoping that I continue to do exactly what I'm doing. I want to stream to many people every day. Hopefully I can grow that stream, all my platforms, to be honest. But I want to keep providing the best content that I can, but at the same time, being the best player I can. Even then, just like being the best person I can be, you know, like, in the ever-expanding and evolving world of Fortnite, a 17-year-old kid from a town in East Pennsylvania was the first and only that rose to the occasion when the odds were so statistically impossible. The only person that knew it would happen was himself. Now, it's time to keep loading into the battle bus to chase whatever is next. What is in the past is nice to reflect on, but it is the future that is worth chasing after. But on one fateful Sunday afternoon, six matches ultimately wrote a large chapter in the legacy that we know of today. Kyle Bugga Giersdorf is a competitor, a friend, a sentinel, a world champion. I think the one thing I would tell myself in the past is probably to never let people discourage you. Um, always make sure you have goals for yourself. Always set high expectations and just do what you love best and always just have fun.